Hello, Adoni5 Gamers. It is time to watch some more IJL matches today. Now, something that I didn't do in the first IJL video when I recorded with Zeus was I forgot about the IJL Exhibition Hall, like, extras. So, uh, if you haven't done the uh, subscription stuff, you definitely want to subscribe to all the uh, matches. You can do that just by going in here and clicking subscribe. If you click subscribe, you can go down here and click a bunch of golden apples. Make sure you do that uh, if you're, like, watching this, you know presently <laughs> back in the IGL exhibition hall there's nothing really that's new except for the guess the silhouette game so pretty much what I recommend that you do if you don't actually know what these people are is you just do this literally um, there's only all, all the answers are in the exact same like uh, order I guess I should say so like let's say uh, let's say this was like Nyan it's not let's say this is Nyan Every time Nyan would come up, it would, like, the, the changing of the the names don't change. So all you have to do is just, like, keep guessing, like, like one, like, A, B, C, or D each time. This is, like, my strat, bro. I keep guessing B until I realize, okay, there's not any more B. Because there's only 10 more questions, right? And every single time you get a question right, it won't reappear. So there's 10, there's 10 left because there's 10 more things. So now that I notice that, like, there's nothing in B, you just, like, swap to a different one. So I'll swap to, like, D now. And then I just like keep spamming D over and over again. And then uh, once there's no answers in D, it seems like a lot of them are A and C. Uh, but then once I once there's no answers in D, then I can swap over. So yeah, this is this is the strat that I just recommend uh, that you use. It's it's just the fastest way I think. If you ask me, if you don't actually know the players, yeah. See see, I just got like four in a row right there that were all A. And this last one is D, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Beautiful. That's that's the strat right there. That's the strat. So anyway, um, now that we have 140 of these notebook pages, we can buy even more golden apples. Looks like we get 2,400 uh, apples just right here that easily. So yeah, make sure you grab your golden apples, everybody. All right, here we go. Today's set is between Zeta and Axis. This is day two, set number one of IJL Autumn. We've got an officer, magician, gardener, and a uh, painter pick here going up against opera singer, seer, anti, Mike Gaming, and Murrow band. So the Morton brothers have been uh, banned out, but the opera singer totally understand it. But looks like both Axis and Zeta have won their sets from day one. Playing it out here on Arms Factory first makes sense. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to watch Zeta yesterday, uh, at least like day one. Unfortunately though, they played four Ivy games in a row and I was like, no, no, sir. <laughs> Luckily guys, there is only a single Ivy in this, uh, in this set. So that's going to be nice. There's more opera singers than there are Ivy. And I do prefer watching opera singer to Ivy because Ivy is, uh, I, I do like the strategy behind Ivy, but it's, it's starting to become very, very repetitive, even for me. Uh, so I can still appreciate like the strategy around it, but it does get old. I cannot lie. Opera singer though, I still kind of like watching. I, I maybe maybe it's just me, but I do like watching opera singer quite a bit. Now looking here at the builds, ooh, okay, things are a little interesting here. Tide officer, full kite on the mage, simple knee jerk on painter, and then a flywheel tide on the garner. Not just a knee jerk tide. I, th I feel like knee jerk tide is far more popular, but it's a flywheel tide garner. And then not to mention the opera singer, kakaka ka, ka, here. Uh, has peepers. It's a peeper opera singer. Uh, so we know ever since like DX was playing a lot of opera singer in tournament, obviously, but like ever, ever since DX like kind of decided to bring peepers, everybody has been like, huh, hey, let's, let's, we should, we should copy that DX guy. He, he won Koa all by himself that one year. Let's keep copying DX, bro. <laughs> At least I don't actually know if that's where it came from, but I know that like DX was like one of the first operas to actually like use peepers like 50% of the time and use blink the other percent of the time. I think a lot of it is because it's Arms Factory. And I cannot lie, Arms Factory and Hospital are the most survivor-sided maps in the game, uh, without a doubt. I know some people also say Leo's Memory is survivor-sided, but I don't really agree. I think Leo's Memory is fine. Uh, but yeah, no, Arms Factory is actually quite difficult for opera. I, I, I've been starting to practice opera singer quite a bit, and like, let me tell you, bro, Arms Factory is kind of a nightmare to, uh, that was a good bubble from the Garner, by the way. Very good bubble. It's a prime bubble, but it's a very good bubble. Uh, it, it's, it's a pain to chase on. It is a pain to chase on. Uh, obviously a lot of the, uh, good opera singers that aren't just, you know, me not even being like a good rank opera. Uh, <laughs> nice flywheel actually. And yeah, that's about, that's about right. That's what happens when you use flywheel versus opera. <laughs> 
But it, it, it seemed like the Gardner had to prepare for both Opera and Ivy, so that's why she has Flywheel instead. And that, that was a clean file, even though it just kind of didn't really matter there at the ending. Okay, so the Peepers... I don't really know how much the Peepers really did. That was a two and a half Cypher Kite, which is actually pretty good, all things considered. But at the same time, uh, a reminder, it is... It, it, it is Opera Singer on Arms Factory, and that she's just not quite that good uh, on Arms. So she actually does have sights on this officer. He's going to have to do a second tuning right here, but that's going to be quite an early hit. Uh, we might be able to see her teleport back here. Oh, no, she doesn't have TP up. Oh, she messed up her dash, too. Okay, she didn't have any way of getting the chair. Takes a risk and goes for the officer. Doesn't get him. Now you're back on the gardener here. And that's a down. Okay. No double down, though. I feel like that could have been a really, really good double down had Kakaka not messed up the dash there to get that first initial hit. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you got to do it. A lot of time, uh, opera singers will just, like, dash to get to a survivor, which will just, you know, it, it, in tandem, it would count as a messed up dash. Now, Kazunek was, what the... Why are you getting so close to- Oh, he's, 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 trying to, he's trying to get the face. He's trying to get the face. That's why he wants painting. I don't know if he actually got painting from that, though. I want to say that he maybe could have, especially with the painter buff a while back. Uh, no, actually, he did not. He did not get it. It was not close enough. You can see because he hasn't drawn anything yet. But Kazuneko on Rompo. That's two of my goats right there, bro. That's the goat channeling the goat. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, now you've got the painting. Now you've got it. And somehow has still not got hit, even though there's a peeper here. How the heck? Bro. Rampa, you gotta calm down right now, bro. Okay, there's the painting, which gives a chance for Garner to transition quite a bit. And she is gonna be able to get to Locker here. Opera Singer only has peepers. She needs another 30 seconds she wants to swap to Blink. Oh, that was risky. Just swing at Kazuneko. What? No, swing at Kazuneko there. You swing at Kazuneko every time. Because you know he's about to just spam paintings. No, dude, they're on the last two ciphers. This is not good. This is not good for Kakaka. There's the painting. And now Kazuneko just dies. He, d he just dies for the gardener. I don't know if they actually make these ciphers. It's gonna be close. She flywheels nothing, I guess? Okay, all Kazuneko has to do is get one good body block and they win, I think. I think one good body block should be enough. Yeah, they, they have Locker here. They can just stand in the way. Yep. Kazuneko standing in the way, standing in the way. She teleports around though. Ooh. Let's see. It hit Kazuneko, it hit Kazuneko! She's probably gonna chair Kazuneko here. Nope, they're gonna they're gonna pop then. They're just gonna pop right here. Pop right here. Palette, 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 mind game. And instantly he goes down. Okay. Sure. Well, actually, you can get a draw from this. That was a very fast down, and she has teleport available. So you gotta immediately get off that gate. Not gonna TP? Hmm. You know what's funny is if they were on that gate and they committed to it, they would have it would have been open by now. Interesting, but Kakaka is doing like a double, is doing like a very smart mind game here, thinking like, okay, Zeta's gonna be smart and they're not gonna get on the gate after I trump card, which allows me to walk over to the gate instead. And it looks like the officer has become the distraction. A messed up dash though. Hmm, Kazunoko's gonna go back to the other gate, looks like. Although no resources. Oh, you spot out the mage. Where'd he go? I was about to say, even I lost him, bro. What the heck? Okay, I think he's actually has flywheel. Flywheel? Oh, no flywheel. She waited kind of weirdly though. Wait a minute, this actually has 3k potential. Wait a minute. If she TPs to Kazuneko, Kazuneko has nothing. Are we not gonna use teleport? There it is, there it is, okay. There's Kazuneko, okay. That pallet is still there though. Yeah, no, no. Kazuneko's not losing, losing a pallet in my game anytime soon, bro. There's no way. That's my goat, bro. He doesn't lose. He just doesn't lose. This is what I mean. Uh, Opera Singer just like can't. She just can't. It's so hard on Armstrong. This is what I mean. It's so hard on Armstringer to get this. And now you got it. Now you got it. Okay, there's the pallet mine that you needed. But Kazuneko bought enough time. That's all he needed to do. My goat. My goat bought enough time for the draw. That's what I'm saying, bro. If Kazuneko takes Kite, like, you're, you're, it's a draw guaranteed. Like, it's draw guaranteed, bro. Like, there, there's just no way. There's no way the hunter doesn't get a win if they chase Kazuneko. Surely not, bro. I know I'm gassing up Kazuneko like crazy, but trust me, guys. If you're not unfam if you're unfamiliar with the Kazuneko playstyle, you, you understand. He's the best survivor in Japan. He's that good. So, it's round one second half now. Now, it needs to be said that Zeta has a new hunter. Uh, so, if you guys, unfortunately, I'm going to talk about this just briefly. It's a little unfortunate, but... Um, so Zeta got a new hunter. The reason was Alf was the previous hunter for Team Zeta. 
But uh, before IVS, Alf was having some struggles with, uh, I think, just like personal issues and also just like himself as a player. And basically after IVS, um, he didn't, he realized he wanted to uh, step away from the game. I, I don't know if he's stepping away permanently or if it's just temporarily. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you can inform me on that in the comments. But I do know that Alf has at least for now or potentially forever has stepped away from ID5 uh, and from Team Zeta, which is really sad to see because he was very uh, dominant a lot in the past and uh, has been around this game for a long time. He's, he's a legendary player, so it's kind of sad to see that he's um, he's gone now. So any any people that are curious to see where Alf has been, they are now uh, they have left the game. So a little bit unfortunate. We wish Alf the best uh, in the future. Maybe one day we'll get to see him play again. Uh, only time can say. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, but for now we got MKMLDY, which is gonna have some big shoes to fill uh, coming into Team Zeta's hunter position now. Let's see. Oh, okay. Tide Arrow, Tide Merc, Flywheel Priz, and then Full Kite on the Seer. So Seers almost always run Full Kite. Flywheel on the Prisoners, Sure, I guess it's more Ivy prep and then double tide is fine. They want to try and get a draw here because Zeta already got a draw. So yeah, you, you, you Zeta, Zeta wants to try and get a draw here minimum and so do the serves. Like, they, they're fine to play for a draw. Um, and yeah, as we can see, the Opera Singer movement is already very, very clean. They, 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 this, this feels very, very fast. Uh, it needs to be said also, this is Peeper Opera Singer once again. Uh, because Opera Singer does struggle quite a bit on this map, it does seem like Peeper's might be a little bit more consistent because uh, you can pressure down ciphers with it and accelerate your chase with it too by making the survivors a little bit slower while they're in those peepers plus opera singer oh that was a good hit i must say mk's uh i'm just gonna call them mk mk's dashes are very clean although i did miss someone right there uh, right right as i say that but the, the dashes and the movement from the opera singer is pretty clean very very clean i must say and let's see oh Oh, there's the owl. Yep, does, not even swinging, bro. Not even swinging. See, you're popping the owl a little bit early, but it's also quite hard to react to Opera's attack speed because I believe it's 0 0.29 seconds. I think that's how fast her attack speed is. And maybe it's 0 0.31. I actually don't remember. Um, regardless, it is quite fast. Okay, MK. Okay, something I'm running notes. This this option here. MK MK walks through pallets like Sprinter. Sprinter does that exact same chart where they where they walk up to a pallet, wait for like le even less than half a second. They wait for like just point. 2.3 seconds and then they just like just go right through it sprinter does that so much bro I, i've seen sprinter do that on his streams and i try to implement it into my gameplay and it's so funny because every time i do it i get palette stunned <laughs> i'm like i'll just i'll wait here and then i'll go and then it's like uh i'll wait and then i'll palette stun. it's like it's so funny bro i'm so trash at palette mind games bro i'm so bad at them like if, if i'm survivor and a hunter just like loves walking through palettes i'm getting hit by them Cause like my, my main pallet mind game is I just walk behind the pallet and then I use it as a shield. I never drop the pallet instantly. Only only when I know it's a dead game do I drop the pallet instantly and I just get like really, really, uh, I, I get really, really confident thinking that the hunter's just gonna like walk on through, but obviously I, I don't play like that always. I only play like that when it's, uh, you know, when I think the game is already basically dead. So I'm just like, hey, you know, if this works, it works. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so she does get full prez, but at the cost of a pallet stun, which I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. She, the pallet stun was about the length of an attack recovery. So, didn't really do too much. And it looks like she's gonna try to chair over here to pressure Neon Cypher. I don't know if she's gonna be able to pressure it without getting pressured herself from this rescue. Uh, yeah, the peepers, unfortunately for MK, aren't really doing too much here. But it, this is this is just the power of uh, how, 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 much, how much the survivors know against Opera Singer. As well as prisoner as well. Long distance decoding is just extremely good, and it's it's why prisoner was so undervalued for so long. See, look at that. Look at that beautiful. You see that mercenary position? That's such beautiful positioning for the mercenary. On second owl. Okay, Otto, I see you, bro. But did you see how the mercenary was just like right in a straight, like pretty much drawing a straight line in between himself and the opera singer? It was because like if she were to dash, she would hit the mercenary and not the shadow instead, which would interrupt her dash, counting it as a miss dash. That was very, very clean. Okay, so that's a second owl being used there, uh, even after the tide turner. And the ciphers are looking very, very good, I must say. These ciphers are looking absolutely beautiful. However, it is going to likely be a draw because the seer is dead on chair after being rescued two times. 
And uh, the peepers are about to reach three out of three, which means you'll be able to swap instantly to a teleport. Uh, MK is actually slightly ahead uh, in terms of this game. However, oh, dropping a peeper here. Okay. Uh, the prisoner uh, did connect, or the uh, officer did connect the prisoner connection. Oh. Okay. So they're not going to be able to finish up that cipher that's closer over here, but so they're just going to start up that new one that's at 40. Uh, MK's dashes look really, really good. One of the biggest flaws I think about Opera Singer, though, as a character that I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about, is that even though she's fast, uh, that can also be her downside sometimes, because trying to find a hiding survivor as an Opera Singer can be pretty tough. Now, what's crazy about Shalma from GG is, like, he just finds people no matter what. Like, he just, like, I don't know if he hard reads or what. That was a beautiful jetpack from Tuna, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not able to get to that window. I swear I'm talking like Porky Pig today, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. I love Looney Tunes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just crazy because like you're so fast. So it's like it's so much information to take in all at once. Okay, charge attacking there. She might try to go for the prisoner here thinking he has no borrowed time. But little do you know, Opera Singer, he does have borrowed time. That's right. That is right. I mean, it, it was a it was a good read. It was a good read. Most prisoners, when they are out here, they do bring borrowed time. Or they don't bring borrowed time. They're usually full kite. Because he is a bit of a weak kiter. Even though he does have uh, his niche against Opera Singer and Ivy. And that prisoner stun, honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like, I, whenever I chase a prisoner, I'm agonizing when they hold on to the stun, bro. Like... Oh, no way, no way, no, 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 yeah, 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 no, you're not gonna, yeah, you're not gonna do that, okay, understandable, understandable, you don't, you don't want to give the airplanes a chance to, uh, self healing get out, it's, it's too risky, it's too risky, it, especially early in the rounds, if it was, like, late round, sure, maybe go for a risk like that, but it's an early round, you do not want to fall behind on round one, absolutely not, dude, falling behind on round, uh, fall, falling behind on round one is, like, the worst thing that you can do, uh, as a team. You if you have the opportunity for a draw and you can draw it up, always take it. Here we go. Moving on to round two first half. We're going to be seeing Prospector, Officer, Aeroplanist, and Embalmer. Is Embalmer on red shirt? Interesting. Hmm. I think Embalmer is usually better on bigger maps or maps of two-story areas, but red shirt? I mean, it's fine. It's fine. But against something like an Ivy, it's going to be kind of tricky because, uh, you know, the, the map is a lot smaller and she can get there. She can get to places quicker. This, I would even argue that this could be potentially Ivy's best map. Uh, it very well could be. I mean, people always say Red Church is the most balanced map, but I still feel like it's survivor-sided. I don't know, bro. That's what I think anyways. So when, I'm a, when I'm a survivor, bro, I feel like I have so many resources. When I'm a hunter, bro, I'm just like, I can't see you behind all these 8,000 walls, bro. <laughs> it's like I, I look one way and then survivor's just gone. It's like, where'd you go, bro? Oh, it's so goofy. But yeah, luckily this is the only Ivy game of the set. So after this one, we're, we're, we're done and we can move on to greater things. Okay, builds mostly check out here. Almost everything checks out here, except for the Embalmer. Flywheel Tide. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird one that we don't really see Flywheel Tide Embalmer that often. I guess it's fine though, because Embalmer is one of the most versatile survivors. He can kind of just run whatever he wants. I would argue that there are probably like a good solid 10 survivors in this game that can really just one run whatever they feel like. That's probably characters like Aeroplanist, Coordinator, Embalmer. I don't even know what Prospect is doing right now. I think he I think he had himself positioned for like an Ivy uh an Ivy tablet or something. But I'm gonna be chasing the Embalmer here first. I do actually agree. Uh, Embalmer probably placed his coffin somewhat nearby. No longer has a oh Oh, that's an early hit, Nyan. Wait, no, but this is Nyan. This is Nyan, though. If we if we know anything about Nyan, it's that they take an early hit, but then kite for, like, ever. That, that's literally, like, the the definition of Nyan. Every time I saw Nyan and Koa, they were always, like, canceling attack recovery and, like, getting very, very... Uh, getting, like, early hits. Um, but it, they always kited for a very long time afterwards. Uh, which was like it's a kind of it was like kind of like a meme. It was like their their like biggest meme. Uh, we are about to repossess Nyan real quick here, and I think this is actually guaranteed death for the Ivy. Or it's a guaranteed kill. Okay. Oh, flywheel. Uh oh, you did flywheel, just not the right way. Okay. Well, you have your coffin. I have. A, I think they're gonna instant coffin. They're gonna instant coffin. I can feel it. They're definitely gonna instant coffin here. 
Mm, how, how no, the officers on the other side of the map, they're definitely gonna insta coffin. 100%. They're gonna insta coffin, die like. Die like back gate, probably, and then officer will rescue back gate. I, I, I can only imagine. Yeah, there's a prospector. Stun for no reason, I guess. I, I guess it. No, it literally does nothing. Ah, it does nothing. <laughs> literally does nothing, bro. Okay, what will you do here, Nyan? That was actually good. I like that. I like that. So he didn't want to go inside God Kite immediately there because he knew the tablet would get set up there. And like, usually God Kite is like what you, it's something that you want to loop. Ooh, vault the window maybe? Nah, you're just dead. Okay, yeah. Okay, she's gonna die God Kite. Makes sense, makes sense. But Takakao is here, so he can't get the rescue. And we are gonna DB a dying near the back eight. Understandable. Now, the Cyphers are actually a little behind, I must say. Nyan has not really been doing the Nyan Classic where they kite for an extremely long amount of time, but at the same time, it, it, you get blinked, you force that blink, and then you just got IV teleported on after Coffin, and then you're just gonna get IV full presence cheese, so... There really isn't too much you can do about that. Oh, wait, the rescue already happened, what the heck? I blinked and it happened, hello, what? Bro, what? I, I missed it. <laughs> Did he instant rescue? I'm actually confused. Okay, well, full prez is ready. And Yannison is trying to just get behind a pallet. Yeah, as you can see, Ivy's being very, very patient here. Very good, patient. Okay, dropping the pallet. And then now you TP. Yep, now you TP. The, the reason being is I would be forced to break that pallet, and then maybe the fly will be back up. She doesn't know exactly when it's coming back up, but she knows it's, like, relatively soon. And um, that pallet right there is, like, one of the best pallets on all of uh, Red Church. So it's, it's, like, that pallet and the pallet, like, next to it, uh, like right on the other side of the wall. Th those are like such good pallets, bro. You kind of have to break them as Hunter. Otherwise, you're going to get looped forever, bro. Both those pallets are like absolutely necessary to break. Unless you have Blink or something. But even then, you should break them afterwards. Because they're so OP, bro. Okay. But yeah, like I said, the Cyphers are not really looking super stellar here. Actually, no, they're fine. You got 40%. And then three people that are healthy. This is actually fine. This is fine. This, this is the point in Ivy games where like... It becomes a, just an extra. You just drag out the game, and this is this is why most people find Ivy games to be boring. Is because like the first little bit of Ivy is like just very repetitive because it's always just tunnel down the first person, and then it becomes the battle of I pressure down three ciphers because only one person can work on a cipher at once, and you pretty much just like leave each cipher to be decoded for a little while. So like now she knows like okay, well the cipher at back gate is gonna be pretty close. So she's gonna teleport to back gate. She's not gonna tell. Okay, interesting. I feel like she needs to teleport to back gate. She's gonna leave you here, then teleport to back gate. Understandable. Yeah. So she's like basically allowing like one cipher to be worked on, but only the one that's like low. It's so like that zero percent one. She's like, oh yeah, you can go ahead and work on that zero percent cipher. Yeah, fine by me, bro. But I can keep my yet at the other cipher that's at twenty. So you're basically just like keeping two people off the ciphers, but you can only. It's like it's like two hunters versus three survivors and like three ciphers. It's. It's just, this is just like the end game of Ivy. And this this is the thing because all that, the, all that Ivy has to do is commit to people whenever she has full presence or blink. So right now, she should be trying to get this officer down with a blink or teleporting onto the airplane. She got the airplane actually, so there's the first hit. And then she's likely going to be teleporting back in your back gate. Let's see. Uh, the tower is broken. You teleport back to back gate. Leave Yith here. And then you teleport. Yep, back to back gate we go. And that's it. It's, this is literally, it's just the rinse repeat strategy until you have full presence again. And it, it, it comes to the point where the Cypher that's usually the one that's farthest ahead only really gets progress when Ivy either one, commits with full presence to somebody else and is during, and it has like attack recovery, or two, she downs somebody and she has to tear them. Beautiful flyover from the Prospector, I must say. Not using really any magnets at all. The, the reason why they're able to hold their own right now is because this Prospector is still uninjured. The second this Prospector takes a hit, I feel like it's going to be really, really risky because everybody will just get full Presence Cheese, except for the Prospector, I guess, because he does have uh, three Manus, and it looks like he is going to toss one out here just to have, I guess, another one in case he wants it later, I suppose. Um, and then she's probably going to blink the Officer here, but by committing to this Officer, once again, the, the Norton, as you can see in the bottom left, is moving back, uh, moving back toward the back eight Cypher. And might be able to to finish the cipher actually, allowing this uh, first officer to go free. Didn't use up the blink though, realizing that the uh, end game is very very close. And that's gonna be the hit, but they pop, they pop just in time. So this is this is looking like a draw. You have pocket watch, hover three jetpacks and two magnets, almost three magnets. 
This is looking very, very good for the survivors. They definitely draw this. They 100% draw this. I mean, it's, it's just gonna be a draw fest at this point. Only draws, baby. Aeroplanus is chilling. He's like, I'm not getting on that gate, bro. What you mean, bro? I'm a fish. I'm a tuna. A salmon. That means nothing. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is Ivy moment, bro. Nobody can work on a gate for the first like two minutes. Although I feel like Prospector could. I don't know why Prospector's not. Cause I feel like if you're Prospector, you just get on the gate, toss Magnet, and you like just guarantee escape. I guess she has Blink though. To be fair, she has Blink. Okay, there's oh, but because of Bar Time speed boost, it's only 59. Only 59. That five percent speed boost truly does matter. Gonna pop the watch here, teleporting away, realizing like ah, okay, I can't chase somebody with a watch. Got 24% on that gate. But yeah, it's just, it's, there's no way you, you win this as Ivy. It's, it's tough. Because the survivors have too many resources. The whole point, the whole point of that strategy, by the way, everybody, is obviously you pressure on Cyphers, but at the same time, you force out a lot of items from the survivors. It's basically just playing like a whittle. You like whittle down the survivors and wh wither away their items. Like, because literally, if you think about it, like when survivors have no items, they're kind of bad. Like... <laughs> They, all they have is rock hiding in pallets, and usually you wither down the pallets as well. Like, a lot of the good pallets are going to be gone. Uh, all their resources are going to be gone. Airplane's going to use the hover here. The jetpack joyride, as Zeus called it. Uh, okay, Airplane's trying to make a dungeon. She's like, oh, okay, no, no, I'm not going to give you a chance to get to dungeon, bro. Just going to blink you. And looks like Officer is just going to be running straight toward reception. Hmm, does she have a chance to cut him off, actually? No, there's no tablet. He makes that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Yith, the Yith is not fast enough. The Yith, is, the, Yith, the Yith is fast, but not that fast. They get the draw. As we thought, bro. As we thought. Welp, it's time for round two, second half. We got Officer Finn, Cordy, and Aeroplanus once again. This time, Ivy is banned, so we're gonna get the Flopra Singer. Spawns check out. Everything looks pretty standard here. Just don't chase Kazuneko, bro. He's the GOAT. You can't, you can't win against Kazuneko, bro. That's all I'm saying. I would unironically recommend this Opera Singer to go for, toward the Officer first, and then maybe chase the Coordinator of the Finn. Kazuneko's too OP, bro. We are going to see Borrowed Knee Jerk on both uh, Aeroplanus and the Cordy. Full Kite on that Finn. What the heck? And then just a regular Tide on the Officer. Full Kite Finn, though. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alrighty, let's see. Gonna go for Kazuneko first. Hmm, okay. How are we going to kite this out, buddy? Oh, what? Did you just not see him for a second? Okay. Well, that gives him a free entrance into church without even really having to try. Gonna take his knee-jerk reflex and go toward the pallet that is pre-dropped by his teammate. Beautiful work. Yeah, if you have knee-jerk, by the way, guys, if you spawn inside church, it's always good to drop one of the pallets inside church. Those those pallets on their own are pretty only, like, used for mind games and aren't really that really good. But it's very good for looping church for characters with knee-jerk. Oh, using the hover to push back because he knew that was going to be a guaranteed hit. Dropping this pallet, you barely make that pallet, Kazaneko. That's, that's that efficiency right there. That's the efficiency from Kazaneko. And now, let's see. This is a very hard mind game palette right here. Let's see. It's a very good mind game palette. And it's forced to break it. Yeah. It's a very good palette for mind gaming. And it's a good palette on this map. This is also a good palette. Ooh! Blinking for first hit. Okay, that's a blink for first hit. Kazunako forcing out the blink. He does... Oh, hello. Why'd he wait? He waited for his... That's optimization right there. He waited for his knee jerk. She's gonna TP. Go back. Oh, don't make it. Unfortunate. Good kite, though. That was a good kite. That was a really, that was a really solid kite. The reason he waited, though, because he was waiting for his knee jerk. That's crazy. Wow, that's efficiency. I was like, well, otherwise, like, you'd vault that right away. But that's the Kazuneko difference, bro. Most people just be like, I just gotta vault the pallet, get behind the pallet, because that's my shield. But Kazuneko's like, nah. I need the speed, bro. <laughs> Oh gosh, even even when in hot pursuit, he's still thinking, bro. That's the thing. Kazuneko is always thinking. Whereas me, when, I, when I'm cutting, I'm just like, oh, oh, please don't hit me. Please, this better work. But Kazuneko's like, oh, I know this will work because I'm the goat. I'm Kazuneko, the one and only. Okay, what have we got here, officer? What have we got? Clean res a clean rescue, apparently. Clean, clean rescue, no damage. Completely damaged his rescue. I mean, my, my boy's getting farmed, but it's fine. 
And he's going to be transitioning to Graveyard here, too. This is actually really good here. You transition to Graveyard, you die in Graveyard, and then you get Pew Pew. You get a Pew Pew Rescue. And then you drop, like, Double Pallet. Now, this is going to be this is gonna be a pretty solid rebound, potentially. I feel like Corner should wait. High key, here's a strat. You Rescue cause an Echo. After forcing a tap recovery, you guys go behind the pallet, Cord drops the pallet, and then drops the pallet again, and then shoots while Cousin Echo's like, what the heck? Or just drop that pallet, that works too, okay. Oh, now you drop the pallet, okay. She's stalling that, she's stalling that, yeah, she wants to force a tap recovery to give Cousin Echo a chance, or just shoot gun right here. Wow, up close and personal, she said, hi, 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 pew pew. <laughs> okay, that buys plenty of time though, plenty of time. Now Cousin Echo's back inside church. Their ciphers are ahead, actually, I must say. Their ciphers are actually about 40% ahead right now, which is quite good. Cousin Echo speeding his way. Wow, the support from Dolisu. Hold on, wait. Wait a minute. The dynamic duo, Dolisu and Cousin Echo. Wait a minute. Once again, trying to keep uh trying to keep each other alive. Team Zeta. Cousin Echo knows. Oh, beautiful work! Beautiful ball position from from Dolisu. Once again, stalling this out. Oh, oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. And Kazuneko, Kazuneko has his bar time this time. Or uh, uh, the, the, the server that's about to get hit does have bar time. That's a pop. And you're behind the pallet, so you have to go around. Beautiful kite and beautiful support. But the shadow is there too. This is why I love opportunity games, bro. Oh my gosh. This is why I love Kazuneko, bro. Kazuneko's so freaking goaded, bro. You're going to have to blink him. Oh my. This man is so goaded, bro. You have to blink him. That's the only way you get Kazuneko, bro. Oh, okay, I guess, unless he just dies right here. All right, sure, never mind. I guess, that's three escape, though. That's why I say you never chase Kazan Echo. Kazan Echo, you, it's, you just can't, you can't. You can't, you just don't chase Kazan Echo. What did we learn today, everybody? Don't chase Kazan Echo. <laughs> oh, boy. That's my goat right there. Moving on to round three. This is when things get exciting, because Opera and Ivy are now banned. We're going to see Acrobat, Cordy, Psych, and a forward, a Zeus IDV coming out here. Gonna be on Moonlit River Park, the statistically statistically wise, most hunters have a map in the game. Uh, the hunters have the highest win rate on this map, which is pretty interesting to think about. Uh, now let's see, MK taking a minute here to decide what hunter you're gonna pick. We could see Geisha, we could see, Fish? Fish? Hmm. I don't know about the Nyad pick here. Unless you're crazy like Pipe, I don't know, man. Wow, and you're hard committing to the coordinator here, too. Like, you're, you're actually just saying, okay, coordinator, I'm chasing you. Like, and Acro, Acro not at fourth? What the? Psych at fourth and Acro at two story? What kind of, what are they thinking? Acro's the one who's broken at fourth and Psych's the one who's good in two story. What are they thinking? I am so confused. Okay, this is not, this is not, this is no Pipe, bro. This is no Pipe. Because that's an insolent night. If that was Pipe, it'd be a trump card. <laughs> also, a full flywheel. Were they expecting a wheel or something? What the heck? Or a clown? I don't think, I don't know what MK plays. That's the thing. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't, I haven't seen MK enough. He's obviously, like, I don't know if he's new to the scene. I don't know if he's been, like, out there. I just don't recognize the name. Especially playing for Team Zeta. So, like, uh, it's like it's always been Alf to my knowledge, so it's pretty interesting to see the the, the fish coming out here. Cord's gonna be sitting up on that coaster, and she is gonna instant take it. She does accumulate forty or sorry thirty seven water here. And did anybody activate the stop? I don't think they did. Now she's gonna get off right here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. So Corner, it looks like Corner's just gonna do the standard loop where you take coaster to uh, to two story. You loop two story with the window. Oh, scared of the gun, it looks like. A loop, loop two-story here. There's the pew-pew to go down this way to guarantee the gun. Um, and Fish didn't really try to dodge it because it looked like she was trying to hunt her instinct or something right there. And she's going to take the vault. Wait for her to pull back. Then you go. Then you go. Yep. And actually going to be going to God Kite instead. Interesting. I thought she'd try to loop back to... Or try, uh, try to go to the, uh, the... To the coaster once again. Interesting. I figure, like, coaster, coaster players are really good against... Uh, Night, especially when she doesn't have much presence. Oh, not the not the best harpoon there. Gonna be blinking for first hit. Waiting for a flywheel, but obviously you, you can't react to Nyad. So it's just like, why bother, bro? Why bother? 
Okay, but that does give her instant, so now she has a big old dash to catch up here with. Probably gonna pull the back of the harpoon right there. Forcing the mind game, forcing the mind game. You might have to double flywheel this. Ooh, there's a good, good flywheel, good flywheel. Solid, drop the pallet now. Beautiful work from Takakao. Beautiful, beautiful work. Naya not dropping any of these pallets, but another abyss has been set up. And we're probably gonna be going down here. Let's see. Yep, gonna be dying up here. Okay. Three cyber kite though, three cyber kite. We got rage, fast pickup balloons, hunter's instincts. Yeah, that's 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 a good kite. That is a good, good kite. Plus, you still got Tide, you got Forward Ball, and you got a Psych Whistle uh, across the map. All the while, your fastest decoders are kind of side rushing. Oh, spotting out the Ford pretty early, though. Hold on. Nyan? 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 Nyan. Oh, you are so lucky, Nyan. Nyan, be careful, bro. Okay. Should you get that before half? You're a forward. There's no way you don't get that before half. Come on. He's balling. He's balling. Ball stun? Oh, that is not a long stun at all. Make it before half, Neon. Okay, he got it. He got it. He took the damage. Okay, I can't even lie. Uh, as much as I hate the fish attack speed, that kind of should have hit. I'm sorry. That kind of should have hit. Like, I I'm all for, like, fish attack speed being stupid and dumb, but that, that kind of should have hit. <laughs> Not that it really matters though. Yeah, okay, now, now, now the fish has full prez. Um, the forward is getting whistled too. Yep, yep, forward getting whistled too, but that's psychologist. Not the not the cleanest rescue of all time, but it did it did work out. It did work out. Uh, especially since um, the forward didn't die. You know, that, that's the, the best part is you didn't get a double down uh, in terms of what Axis wants here. But if you're, if you're MK, you definitely wanted that double down here. Um, this is looking very much like a draw right now. Because Ford can come on in, get the rescue. He might not even actually get the rescue. There's a good chance he might just feed tonight and sell and force the draw. Especially since Zeta has the, the lead here. Oh, never mind. Uh, no, I guess no. If Zeta has the lead, no, never mind. Oh, that's unfortunate, actually. The 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 harpoon she wanted to dash, but it was canceled. Oh, there's the blink. Beautiful blink, actually. But yeah, it makes it makes sense for Team Axis here to. Uh, they're they're the ones that need the lead, so it makes sense for them to kind of go crazy. And Nyan is just praying right now. That forward ball, I think that bought enough time, actually. I think it bought enough time. Just the forward's existence alone buys enough time for the Cypher to be primed. Wow, dude. Just by the forward's presence alone. That's crazy. And if you pull back, she just walks out. This, this, this is why, oh my gosh, they could actually unironically forward escape this. They could actually, for wait, the, the, the dungeon is actually here. Oh my gosh, and the pallet's dropped. No way. Oh no, MK. MK, don't let it be you. Okay, high key, I'm not even joking. Literally just wait for your blink. Literally just wait for your blink. The thing is, if the thing is if MK throws the harpoon, he loses. He cannot throw the harpoon. If he breaks the pallet, he loses. He literally has to sit here, mind game, and wait for his blink. If he breaks the pallet, he loses. If he throws Harpoon, he loses. He's trying to bait the coordinator. He's literally just going to wait for his blink. The coordinator can't wait on Flywheel. It, it comes down to blink versus Flywheel. It literally comes down to blink versus Flywheel. Or unless until somebody messes up. Don't throw it. If you throw it, you lose. You cannot throw it. You lose, you throw it. You know you know, you'll lose if you throw that. You cannot throw that. Bro, what is this? What is this dungeon... This dungeon showdown, bro. It's a face-off. Blink is back in 44 seconds, but Fly was back in 47, bro. And there's no way you react to a fly. There's no way you react to a blink with your flywheel to fish attack speed after all this tension, bro. There's no way. That's why Takakao is keeping his distance, because he's scared of that blink. He knows the blink is coming. He knows that they're both winning. 200 second kite! Artificial kite, by the way. Oh my goodness. You know what's crazy? I think you can actually break this pallet now. MK's like, no, please. <laughs> All right. Brother. Brother. I think you can break this pallet now. I guess if you break the pallet, then you, you open the door for the flywheel. All right, it's Blink versus Flywheel. 
Who will win? Who will win? You know that Blink is ready. Somebody, who has to commit? How long are we gonna be here? How long? We could literally be here forever. We could actually be here forever. Oh, oh. Bro. They, they have to commit. They surely have to commit. Is this, is this what the clown versus priestess match was like? The 10 hour clown versus priestess match? Bro. Bro. What is this? Oh, oh. I think MK's, I think MK's gonna get impatient here. What? The dungeon location, wait! No way, he's winning on the dungeon location! That's why! Oh my gosh! I forgot that the dungeon could change locations! That's what he was waiting for! No way, man! No way! That's what he was waiting for! I completely forgot that was gonna- Cause that never happens! That's why the devs implemented that function, cause of stuff like this! That's why that's a thing! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that that was even a thing, man! What the heck? I literally forgot that was a thing. That's crazy, man. Well, that was one of the craziest, craziest, craziest dungeon face-offs I think I've ever seen. But now we're on to round three, second half. We're gonna see Officer Enchantress, uh, Prospector, and Acrobat. Everything here makes sense, except Enchantress. Enchantress is definitely a weird pick here. And Kakaka gonna be going Anne here because Anne can easily pick up a 1K. And is, Anne's like almost guaranteed 1K and has a pretty good draw, right? Especially on something like Moonlit, it's almost likely a very hard draw. But then again, there is a Prospector, which does kind of counter her, so that could be a little tricky for her. Once again, no Acura at four stop. It's gonna be the Prospector at fourth. How strange. I do feel like Kakaka might chase Hamatsu here, even though he only has one mana from the start. I guess, I feel like it's 50-50 if you chase the Prospector here. I don't know. You, you, you definitely chase... No, you don't chase Cosneco. Remember, remember what we learned, everybody. We, you don't chase Cosneco. You're definitely gonna chase the Prospector. I don't care if he counters you more than Acrobat, bro. You don't chase Cosneco. <laughs> Cosneco is just too goaded. Let's see. We got a Tide Officer, Knee Jerk on the Enchantress, Flywheel on the Acro, and then a Full Kite Build Prospector. No warp from the end though. It's a Blink and Okay. And she's going to. Oh no. Don't do it! Don't do it, Kakaka! What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? I thought you learned your lesson. You don't chase Kazuneko, man! You just don't! You just don't chase Kazuneko, bro! You're about to get 5 Cypher kited! Oh boy, I mean that's kind of what Zeta needs right now since Zeta's not looking to- Well, I guess they were. They, 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 they did not do super hot. That's a slow bomb right here. Yep, Anne's gonna be slow. Man, I'm slow now. That's Anne's voice, by the way, guys. I've been the secret Anne voice after this entire time, and you just never knew. All right, Kazunako going to uh, Firebomb. Firebomb, so no cats, yep. Loop it, just looping this same window over and over, just abusing the Acrobat bombs as much as he can. Oh, interesting. Okay. How? What are we gonna do here, Kazunako? What's the strat? Okay. That, that's fine. All right, let's see. So she popped the cast, and so now her cooldown is basically negative. Kazunaka's gonna get to God Kite here. Looking back, looking around. I toss to the cats. Cats hit. Boom jump. Blink. There it is. Yeah, there's a blink. There's a blink. Okay. Good kite, though. Good kite. Good kite. Forced out blink. And uh, use three bombs. Still has his flywheel, so he has rebound potential. We do see Berserker. Uh, wanted order and a little bit of stun reduction with that desperate fight on the end here. Uh, stun reduction for that prospector makes sense. Asha's gonna make his way on in here and does kind of counter him though. So let's see. Will she be able to use those cats here? Cats time? Cats, cats, cats? It's the cats time. Meow it up. <laughs> All right, he's not even close. She's swinging now. She's just swinging. Mm, gotta get in here though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, the insta farm. That was a good camp from the end. 
Good camp, good camp. Unfortunately, no rebound potential for Kazunako. He has one last chance to rebound here. Unfortunate for him, not really gonna be able to make use of that flywheel or that red bomb. Uh, don't use it, hello? Okay, I was confused. I was like, are we about to just use the red bomb for no reason? Especially when you absolutely need that thing for a rebound. Oh, oh, the, the Norton, the Norton's here. Wait, it's time, harassment. This is why we love round three. We love round three, we love round three. Ooh. That's done, okay. Use another magnet pusher back, magnet push back. Bro, just magnet push back, what? I guess it's fine, it, it, he's already at full presence. He's just stalling for time. Magnet pushback would waste another mana and give the chance for Kazunaka to rebound, but he's not exactly in a strong area here. Don't- he's gonna try and stun on the chest, bro. What? Oh, there's nothing to stun him on. What? What? What- what mind games are going on right now, bro? Oh my gosh! Another one? Yeah, I know body block there. Still, that bought a ton of time. That was three minutes, but that bought so much time, bro. Uh, not gonna go basement, surprisingly. Okay. What the? Oh, I see. Yo, Kazunako struggle. Kazunako struggle. Kazunako struggle. Oh. This is, she's gonna have normal this, I feel like. Oh, she swapped? What is that? Is that teleport or abnormal? I can't tell. What is it? 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 I literally can't tell. The quality's too bad. I can't tell if it's teleport or abnormal. It's abnormal. It's abnormal. It's abnormal. Bonk. Bonk. Let's go back down to 13. What? I thought I'd go better than 13. What the heck, bro? Okay, the entire- No, bro, somebody has to start a new Cypher! Can somebody rescue Cousin Echo? He's gonna die! Dolisu, please! No! Please! My goat! Oh my- Okay, thank goodness. Alright, my goat Cousin Echo, you run to the tram! My goat, they're gonna work on the Cypher! Ah, uh, but it's a double jump in. Oh, but she took- she took the cat- Okay, Cousin Echo, you don't lose these. You don't lose these- Enchantress, do your thing! Her, she sealed! She got sealed! Oh, this is an and moment, bro. This is such an and moment, bro. Oh, I want to see my goat just goaded up, bro. I want to see Kazuneko just Kazu all in Neko all <laughs> Oh my gosh. Enchantress had one little itty bitty stun, but the and sealed it, bro. This is just and having built in literally everything. Oh my goodness, bro. And is just so good. It's why she's third best hunter right now. Well... Nah, probably in, in tournaments, yeah. In tournaments, she's third best. Uh, I guess Geisha's there. Even though even though Anne primarily does just get draws. Oh, that was a good cat. That was a good cat. And then you just jump. Boing. And then, yep, do the trick. Do the trick. That makes sense. And for those who don't know why the Anne's like, sit still before hitting... She explodes the cats and then hits the survivor. That way her cats uh, are on cooldown a little bit faster. Okay, so there's the cats. Mm, swinging randomly. And now, where are we gonna... Not gonna even cross. Okay, interesting. She just explodes the cats so she gets them back a little bit sooner. Hmm. Yeah, that, that abnormal was very helpful. Cheering on the Cypher and then abnormaling was like the only way Kakaka won that. That's why, that's why, oh, if you, if you, if you chaired in basin like i thought they would just be able to pop probably i actually i actually do agree with kakaka -ka there dang that cat range is huge bro that is a huge cat range okay it took them a very long time but they finally did heal up at least a little bit <laughs> uh i kind of thought they're gonna full reset here hmm kakaka's game is very good sharing here Knowing that uh, the, the survivors are probably going to want to go back to that Cypher. Keeping a very close eye on these Cyphers right now. And Chad just is forced to come on in here. There's a chance you unironically just go for the Cypher again. Yeah, you just go for the Cypher. Don't don't bother with the camp. No, don't bother. It's an officer, bro. Don't bother with the camp. Don't bother with the camp. Go for the Cypher. You have abnormal. You can just abnormal again, bro. Mm, no, she's going to go for the camp. Okay. I guess she's trying to pressure both. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, bro. I don't know why. Like, it wasn't gonna be after half. It's a freaking officer, bro. <laughs> Dude has 20% longer chair time. Okay. All right. Cat moment. Abnormal, please. Abnormal. Put the put the darn thing on cooldown so you can do it again later, potentially. Jump. Oh. 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 Ooh. I can't lie. That was kind of snasty from Kakaka. 
trying to use Norton's Magnet against him. How interesting. All right, cats. I use my cats. Oh, it looks like you didn't get got could get it that time, Bubby. All right, now we chair on the cipher once again. Yes, yes. Oh, we're chairing here. Oh, Hamitsu. What is? Oh, wait. Three stack. Three stack. Three stack. Take hit, then three stack. Oh, she's gonna stall time upstairs. Stall time upstairs. Wait for the officer to get the cipher ready. And then you just three stack into basement. Oh, why'd you use your cats upstairs, bro? What? Hmm? She's too far now. Explode the cat. I don't think I don't think I don't think Anne is I don't think you can block it this with Anne. Can you? No. Not not I don't think you can block the I think you, I think you block the the back entrance. But not the front entrance. Okay. Cypher's not primed yet. Yeah, you, you have prime cipher, three stack, and two hits. There's no way you mess this up. Okay. You literally have a five stack, bro. You have a five stack. She exposed the cat. She's gonna try to get a no a, a no recovery thing here. They're just gonna start healing, maybe. I think it's no, they're not gonna start healing. Okay. They could. The only one who benefits here is actually the survivors. Anne does not benefit by waiting here because she, her, her trait is useless once endgame hits. Well, the only people who benefit here are the survivors because Norton can charge up Magnus like, infinitely. Yeah, let me just wait down there and heal. Unironically. Wait down there and heal. Okay. Three stack pop. Three stack pop. Yup, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, how much do you better throw a Magnet now? Throw a Magnet, throw a Magnet. Magnet. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He went behind. Oh, he went up the window. Oh, why are we chasing the not dead on chair enchantress? Hello? I'm confused. Oh, unfortunate jump. A rare mistake there from Kakaka. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why we're ch chasing the. I guess the. I guess he would know the processor would have a lot of resources to kite with. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if she got that jump, she would have killed the enchantress and then maybe could have gone back for the processor. Maybe that was the game plan. Okay, you have to go down. Big jump. And that's enough. But it's a draw. And with a draw. Who could have seen that one coming? That was a 10 minute game, bro, just for a draw. Sheesh. Here we are, moving on to round four. That's right, we actually have some overtime here. Banning bot Tracy is kind of crazy, but I guess it's like draw serve. We got a cheese, a priestess, a psychopath, and a Kazuneko antiquarian. Now, last time we saw Kazuneko's anti, it was absolutely cracked. Uh, Zia's actually banning out the hermit here, so Kakaka's gonna play Bon Bon Guard freaking at 26, bro. Uh, I mean, Bon Bon against this comp? I don't really know how I feel about Bon against this comp. Oh, what the heck? You're gonna chase the Grave? Bro, Grave just takes, he just goes straight to hospital, gets Priestess Portal, and then gets support. And then you can cause an echo, smack him up. I feel like you have to chase a psychologist. But at the same time, she she dies way too. S I don't know, bro. I don't know who you chase here's Bonbon. I actually have no idea what you chase here's Bonbon. I don't know. I just I just wouldn't play Bonbon in this. I just would not play Bonbon. It's hospital though, so you don't really have many options. I unironically feel like Gamekeeper probably would have been the best pick here. Uh, we're gonna see Tide on the cheese, full kite on the anti. That's becoming a lot more popular recently. A lot of harassers with, with full kite. Uh, then uh, just borrowed time knee jerk on the uh, priestess and the psychopath. With a blank detention trump card and this doofus panda guard 26. Guard 26. Um, and while, while Zeus and I were questioning what the uh, the little bombs were that he throws, or at least like, I don't know if it was the accessory of the skin, but like what, when this skin we were watching like in Zeus's video, uh, we, 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 the comments answered that it was bamboo shoots is what the bombs were, which is funny. I'm surprised I didn't recognize them sooner, but they're like very wide bamboo shoots. <laughs> That's that's what's funny about it. So, uh, yeah, get rotated, bro. <laughs> get rotated. You see the psychologist very, very far away. The priestess is hiding right there. Oh, well, you found the priestess. Eh, you don't really want to chase a priestess in hospital, though. That's a that's an awful chase. Looks like Psyche is going to be the chase target here. He's going to hide it out right here. Sees the bonbon bon coming. Now it's time to transition. Mm hmm? Kaka, you're mind gaming yourself. Mm hmm? Okay, trying to hit the behind the wall here. 
That's some confidence in the pallet, uh, or the bomb. Oh, well. I guess it worked out because it was a five second bomb. Yeah, look at those bamboo shoots, dude. Okay, no bomb chain right there. How about this one here? Nope, no bomb chain at all. Oh, 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 hi, what? Hi, bonk? Okay, sure. I, sure. <laughs> Okay, so if this was a regular survivor, they'd be dead to one more bomb. Oh, oh, the priestess on hospital. Everybody hates priestess on hospital, bro. Me and all my friends hate priestess on hospital. What the heck? Okay, so now you're chasing the grave. And now you're chasing the Kazuneko. Bro, I hope you know that's a three-cypher kite waiting to happen. You don't chase Kazuneko. Ka Kazuneko? Uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, what the? What the? What just? Yo! What did I just? What was that? He got hit, then he hit a bomb with a stick, vaulted, flywheeled, and then just got hit? I don't know what the heck just happened there. That was kind of crazy. Hmm. Oh, Blink is ready, Kazaneko. Are you ready for it, though? <laughs> Look at the distance, bro. Look at this distance. Oh no, you somebody got lost again. Uh oh. Oh. Oh never mind. Okay, you have you have six bombs and Kazaneko dies to one chip. There's no way. Kazaneko, I know you're Goto, but you can't surely there's no way you dodge like six bombs, right? No way, right? Mm, yeah, there's only there's only so much ground you can cover, bro. Not with six freaking bomb bomb bombs. That's the ultimate bomb chain. Okay, let's see. He's got Berserker, Nostalgic, and a lot of Sadist there to make sure the person dies as fast as possible. Breaks that Priestess long portal. Priestess only has one more portal. Uh, but we're gonna have to get uh, you have to get down in there. Sh uh, I almost said Schmitty. Uh, Shinami, <laughs> because uh, otherwise, Kazuneko is gonna perish. Now, please don't insta farm Kazuneko. Give him a chance to rebound, bro. Mmm. That was close. That was close. That was close, dude. Okay, Kazuneko can take two chips or one hit. Blink is still up. Let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. You are the goat. Every time, every time Kaka guys chase you, you just kind of, you just kind of become goaded. Look at this. Oh, well, you forced out the blink. You forced out the blink. You know, you forced out the blink, and that's what's important. Which gives your final rebound even more potential. Let's see here. We have two flute usages left. You can either stun twice or go for like a stun jump or a twirl jump or something. And the cypher actually maybe, I think will be primed by the time the grave gets over. Yeah, grave can just approach the chair easily. And priest is gonna come in here with the portal as well. Oh, the priest is portal support too. Okay. I, I, I think cheese is the distraction. Oh, what the, whoa, they all just dogpiled in there. Holy moly. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna. Kaka gonna try now. Boom, boom. Okay. That just guarantee. Kaka just said, "I'm guaranteed getting to end game," and they're just gonna pop. All oh, right, no borrowed time too. I forgot. Yeah, he just, he just said, "I'm guaranteed getting to end game now." Okay. Fly was the chips. Takes one chip. I vault. Oh, the speed boost. All right, Kaka just gonna die in the corner. Yeah, no more, no more resources. No more resources. You, you, you use literally everything. But at this point, that's a that's a that's a win. That's a win. And once again, everybody, what's the lesson here? Don't chase Kazuneko, bro. Don't chase Kazuneko. Because otherwise, you're going to get three escaped. <laughs> here we go. Comes down to the final match. Round four, second half. Priestess, Anti, Weepy, Grave Ban. Which. That's risky. You got double Dakota. You got Bot, Tracy, and freaking Freddy Riley. A Finn and a Cordy, too. Dude, this is risky. This is all or nothing, bro. This is... I mean, I think you... Nah. But Zeta... Hmm. I feel like you just play something safe and go Anne, right? You get... You play Anne, you get a draw. Zeta has the lead, I'm pretty sure. Why, why are they going for something so risky as a witch? Unless MK just has a really, really good witch. But, like... With double decoder, if you chase a Finn, bro, you're gonna get Cypher us to oblivion. You have to chase the bot Tracy or the the lawyer. There's if you if you don't, you lose. 
You have to absolutely chase one of them no matter what. Hmm. Where would you even spawn here? Bottom, le bottom left is not good. Because then you're on Cordy and Finn. Oh, no. This could be bad for the witch, bro. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Tide Lawyer? I guess I guess Lawyer can have Tide because he guarantees a rescue no matter what. Tide Finn, Tide Lawyer, Flywheel Cordy, Flywheel Mech. What the heck are they expecting? I think they're just playing their cards safe. I don't know. This just feels like very safe, safe build. It doesn't really feel... Hmm. Actually, wait. No, if they get a three escape... Oh, that's why they went double decoder. If they get a three escape faster than Zeta did, then they win. So if you're, if you're Zeta, if you're the hunter here, you have to drag out this match. Maybe that's why they play Dream Witch, because Dream Witch can force longer games. And I'm pretty sure... I think it's the survivors have to get out faster. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's... Whatever survivors get out sooner, the better. So if you make the game last longer, it's not good. I think, I actually don't remember. I always forget how it works. It's either it's either the survivors that last longer or the, I, I literally don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure it's whatever survivor gets out faster wins. That's why they have double decoder. And so you're gonna chase the, the bot Tracy here first, who has even, or has she? I don't know, I don't know. I actually don't know if she dropped her bot. I don't think that she, no, she did, she did. Never mind. her bot is out. Her bot is out. Uh, and there's the first patroller. Okay, main body patroller too. Nyang, 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 Jerry moment. Now let's see, can this mech kite this out? What the? I don't know what that, I don't know what that was. I'm not really sure what that was, bro. I really don't. We might see another patroller being used here. I mean, she does make it to ruins. The ciphers are moving pretty fast. And she's looping around. Okay, is that the? I think this is the leech right here. Yeah, she does not. She, the, the 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 witch does not want to get the hit with the leech. Flywheel, beautiful flywheel, actually, very beautiful flywheel. This is a beautiful Makai from the mechanic too. Stuck in between the pallets here, and took the leech. Yep, forced the leech hit. Beautiful work from the mechanic. Three cipher kite from the mech, and yeah, standard standard build from this witch. Standard standard build here, but. You need you need to get a draw, and right now this this is gonna be tough because the lawyer, the, you have double tied, which is gonna guarantee pretty much guarantee end game at this point unless you can like hardcore dream witch up here. This is the thing, dream witch is very heavy snowball type character, but she needs to like actually just heavy snowball like now, bro. The bot is decoding too, which also is like something to be concerned about. That bot out there, bro. Okay, you hit the bot, you hit the bot. I I I I, I agree, I agree. You gotta hit that bot, otherwise you are just guaranteed to lose. However, that bought a little bit of time for the Tracy to start getting away here. Uh, will she be able to make it to the ruins near Forest? I don't know. Coordinator is here, though. Coordinator can support with the gun. I don't think you should, though. I think I think you should save the gun for the rebound, for the for the for the last uh, rescue. Or maybe you could threaten it later for like a balloon rescue. Oh, that's an instant hit. Okay, sheesh. Maybe the, wait, is the coordinator here now? Well, I don't. I think she's here. No, she is here. She is. She is. She is. Oh my gosh, the balloon rescue! But the other the other follower is here. Body block? Blink? What? Hello? It hit the mech, it hit the mech, but it stalled for an, it stalled for a lot of time though. It stalled for a lot of time. That gun did stall for some time here. And now and now Finn can come in for the rescue. Oh my goodness, do they get do they get this? Do they get this? Oh it's gonna be it's gonna be down to the wire, bro. It's gonna be down to the wire. The ciphers are moving. The Finn needs to come in. The lawyer Oh she's pressing down the cipher though. This is the one chance. This is it. She's dream witching. She's doing dream witch things. They need to somehow force that cipher. I feel like Cordner's gonna get aggressive and just start decoding it. Here comes Finn. Wait, wait. Laura's off his cipher. Laura got off his cipher. What the heck? Why is Laura off his? That has blink. That leech has blink. You lose. You, you don't make it to end game because she pressed on that. Wait. I can't say that though. The ciphers are moving. Wait. Is the tide turner enough? I think it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough! It's gonna be enough! It's gonna be enough! There's no more blink! But there's three leeches, bro! There's three followers right there! Three followers all attacking that freaking bot Tracy! Oh my- Oh my gosh, she has no options! She was getting dogpiled by three followers, and the witch is getting aggressive. She has to. If you get the draw, you win, but I- I don't know. I don't know if you're quick enough. I don't remember how long the bomb on game was. What the heck? This is such an intense game. And the bot is there to buy more time! 
Oh my gosh, the bot is there to buy more time. No way, dude. Wait, but, but, what? You, you wait, you got the draw. You got the draw, so you win. Just barely, no wait. Wait, do you crawl? Do you crawl? You crawl. <gasps> you crawl. Wait, so who wins? Who won? I don't understand. Who won? Who was faster? It doesn't. It's not saying it. Who won? All right. The time for Zeta was 5:01, and the time for Axis was 4:36. So Axis wins. Wow! Because the double decoder. Oh my gosh, dude. That that Tracy's kite was insane, bro. It was insane, and I that, that's why I thought something like Anne would be so much safer. I feel like I feel like Witch was too risky there, bro. Witch was way too risky. I mean, I respect it because it's not an AM, but I feel like Witch is just so risky there, man. Oh my goodness. That was that was a good that was a good match to end it off on though. If nothing else, that was a really fun match to watch. That was a really really fun match to watch. Congrats to Axis for for beating a team as crazy as Zeta, bro. That's impressive. Anyways, everybody, that is going to be it for today. What a set that, that was. I always love when we get overtime, bro, because then we actually get some hunter variety that isn't just Opera and Ivy, even though I do still like kind of watching them a little bit here and there. Just just a bit, just a bit. Opera preference, not so much Ivy, but you know how it be. Anyways, like I said, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.